Hello. 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 I'm Starry Nova Saiyan. And no, I'm Starry Nova Saiyan. I'm Starry Nova Saiyan. Don't do my. It happened again. <laughs> oh. So yeah, the kingdom of Dalkia. Hey, guess what? Dalkia is attacking. Huh. That's weird. Yeah. So that. Hey, it's a setup. Kunal. It's a setup. No. Okay. So yeah. on this field, I we will get... forewarn you. We have no new characters joining us. But we're about to eat one of the more important main. Look at those enemy soldiers! Most of them are generic, oh. though. Apart from one, I definitely know who's going to be very important. Yeah, they just dra they just drag us right to the important is. character. It's um, Luna! Now, what you're going to want to do is send your troops to two out of the three main in the front, and you'll see why once I actually get to moving them, and then I go move over to like, oh yeah, let's just go over to this, this important is why you're not sending it, because if Valkyrie soldiers come in this way, Valkyrie soldiers come this way, but this is the first chapter where you can take on Soul Calibur characters. They'll always be level 60, and they give you quite a bit of experience if you can beat them. Now, for oh. the most part, I will not be taking them on. There is one chronicle where I almost kind of, I kind of almost require, I almost kind of say it's probably a good idea to do it just to make your path a little easier. And you'll see it when I, and you'll see it when I get there. Luckily, if, if we take them on, they won't die permanently. For example, the best way to handle some Soul Calibur characters is to go in with a character that uses a lot of rapid moves. Don't let them get a move in, otherwise they will cut your health down by... They hit like that, trucks, that. especially when you're this low leveled. I mean, second or third time around, it'll be a lot easier. To, yeah, if you do like a new game plus, it'll be a little easier to take them on because you're a lot higher leveled. But of course, if you beat them when you're low leveled... It's you quite a bit. Good it, it'll, it'll give you quite a few levels if you try it. I mean, and I had, you know, decided first or second. I think it was my first time through, and I did decide to take on Astroth, and I noticed how much experience he has given you. For this playthrough, I will be taking on one Soul Calibur character because of how I'm going to lay out the path. Because he's kind of in the way of a path, and you'll notice when we get to that map where he's standing and where I want to just. Well, yeah, spoiler, it's the guy I'm going to take on. Yeah. But. Maybe you should. Hey, hit. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at the grand old soldiers! You mean all the Dalkia soldiers? Oh, yeah. Dalkia. Right. Dalkia. They're the enemy. Mm. Don't. You're making it sound like it's Grandal who's the bad people. Well, Don't yeah. Don't spoil it. I'm not spoiling it. Don't tease me, bro. Sorry, I have to work that joke in some way. So, here's another Darkian soldier. And their armor is slightly, I guess, different style from uh, Grandal. Yeah, this is the yeah. lame thing I'm caught up with. They have a different uniform in that they obviously go with yellow for in the... Uh, country. There, and, yeah. Uh, Their flag color is yellow. Let's see what the males look like. They are more knight looking than the slightly, when you think about it, oddly demonic armored male kind of so. Yeah. I can't believe you let me just go and do that on black. I stood there and took it. Oh, obviously. They're nice people, maybe. No, Maybe generic I'd... moves are just really stupid enemies, that's why they're generic. And we have another female down there, so who uses the one. They love the land, so I will say that. Maybe it's compensating for something in terms of the guys. What's it compensating for in terms of the women? That they aren't getting any? Wow, we went somewhere that I didn't. Whoa, the, this person does not want to go down. I am slightly. No, and that's that. why I love Blade Cleaver, because that's going to slowly chip off our health. And with that, 
the poor lady doesn't sink into lava, which I realized the second person you ringed out just flew into lava. Actually, I ringed out only one person out of those three. Who flew into lava? Yeah. For... That'll be okay, right? Right? Maybe. Oh, it's just a scratch. It's eh, just a scratch. He'll get up eventually. So oh well, yeah, I had to pause it for a second there. So on that note, I guess we have slightly less of a worry, kind of. And Luna changed direction to where she was going. Luna is an interesting foe. And you'll need to find I'm... out a little bit more about her as the story progresses. But suffice to say for now, she's quick, she's agile, she uses a rapier. And no, Shang not rapier. She Chinese uses blade. Shang. No, wait, not Chinese blade. Like, either Chinese blade or Chinese sword. I get those mixed up. She uses a style that's similar to, let's like, say, if for some reason she had Soul Calibur, which I doubt she will, but, you know, she is using that sort of style. So, yeah, you know. type of sword. She's kind of like Here's a her little bit You're certainly a handful. Hello. I shall remember your name. You're certainly a handful. You I shall remember your She does say it out loud. Don't nope. voice over challenge. But she's providing a worthy challenge. And her level's pretty high. She's actually a higher level than the boss here. Which kind of says something when you think about it. Luckily, Jen has experienced enough of the game that she doesn't get out of her. Okay. Hit by it. Well, luckily she beat Luna. And even though she doesn't seem to give much of a challenge, Luna is still not someone to just laugh at, so. Oh no. She's gonna prove to be somewhat difficult. Especially if this is your first time playing, you may end up getting knocked out before you beat her. What did she say? I lost. Impossible! Grr! Retreat for now! And yes, that is essentially her going. Sona! Sona Bakana! Uh, do, we, do we tend to blame Ray for a lot of things we end up saying? I blame multiple Rays. We have enough Rays that I can blame them multiple times. Yeah, we times. do have enough Rays that we can blame multiple times. I mean, we got, we got Mage Knight Ray, we got Shadow of Chaos Ray, we got Ray Blazer. Well, that's the three I know. Those are the three I know. So we have one, as we noticed, they have a slightly more elaborate hat. Wow. You are fancy looking. So it's like, I will mask my entire helmet to pretend to be a Darth Vader lookalike, when in actual fact I'm kind of not in black like here anymore. And I just have a big sword, it's not even a special weapon. To be fair, there is a class which is, um, there are two kind of divisions in classes which are close to Siegfried and Nightmare. One is the Warrior, which uses a slightly broadsword like thing, but more shy handerish. Another is a um, knight, which focuses on Siegfried's side a bit more. Yeah, it's, uh, it's more and more specifically the barbarian class. It gives you nightmare. And the knight gives you Siegfried. Yeah. So I like but I also like um yeah, first time I play this game I like, you know, making a dark version of me who used the warrior class. Because I'm sad. And, uh, yeah. Oh, did they, is it warrior class over there in the UK, or is it, because over here it's it barbarian. Be. It's probably barbarian, I'm just misquoting it somewhat. Yeah. But luckily, you know, there is no fan service class. So. And I'm not oh. even, unfortunately, some characters may try to look somewhat like fan service, but with me, I'm not even going to try to make my character look like fan service. Somehow my sister once played it and gave her character a maid outfit, and I will tell you now, that was not even close to fan service, because my sister, she clothed it entirely in black with the maid outfit, and then gave her character Zassel and Mel's sight. <laughs> I've done that was... once. Put him in a, put the female in dark clothing, gave him Zassel and Mel's, you know, gave him the Zassel and Mel discipline, and had fun. Yeah, that is pretty much the only way you're getting your character to the side, I'll be honest, so. 
Dogs will meld with the plane. Only if you have one in the same class. That's the that's the uh, class you get do the uh, solo dogs will meld with the plane. And since there aren't any enemies left in that path, I'm just gonna move her right along. And then see how Aeneas and Mega, 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 whatever. I totally just forgot the pronunciation where you was taking. If you want to go for Astroth and just repeatedly go, obviously your character will get some losses if you lose, but at the same time... Don't give that experience just for the losses, okay? This early on in the game, experience for losses is pretty good if you want to do it. But if you're pretty skilled in your fighting, and you don't get hit, you can be an Astroth, but Soul Calibur characters aren't going to move at all. You have to come to them. You have to bring the challenge to that game set. I will tell you, they are probably not as hard as the level 99. Well, level 99. Well, yeah, but at the same time. Oddly enough, I don't think any Soul Calibur character has a ring out. You have to get them down by health. I am... No, I think one or two may, I'm not sure. No, I know one of them does, because that's... Because many times I do go against them, I do kind of rely a little bit on the ring out, because I know that stage does. Now, a good example of the ring out, ring out only takes half your health, as you saw there. So it doesn't it doesn't take out the whole health. So if their health's not low enough, you still have to fight them. As you do, which is helpful if you're fighting Soul Calibur characters, because of course if you knock them out, that will lower their health. And even if you lose, they'll have to have some time to recover some of their health. So if you get because back their quick health enough, is what because most of their health is actually going to be pretty high. So it's quite uh, you, cover. Oh so yeah. You can beat them. Don't ever think it's impossible to beat a high-level character, even if you're a low-level, because, you know... It's just hard. It's just going to be a yeah. little difficult, especially if you're not as good into fighting these games as I am. Or Who just me, makes you look... Um, I suck. So. And I've played this game plenty of times. I'm not the best fighter in the world, but I've played it enough times to figure out what to do. I'm gonna take a break before we get going to the main boss because the video is a little over 15 minutes. So we'll be right back. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Sorry. Starting. And we're back. Welcome back. And you just see we're breaking down and I'm just kind of tearing down a place. Claim it since we have to go Which through. Is level three. Yeah. And with level threes, if you do, if you, you know, you have any level three places, whether you upgrade or it's just level three automatic, um, if that's closer than the base, if you have a ally fall, they'll spawn, respawn back to the level three place and not at the base. Oh, by the so, way. The maps get pretty big. I kind of suggest kind of suggest, you know, fortifying at maybe a midway point, or when you get very close to the end on some of the bigger maps, fortify a place to a level 3, so that... I will, Someone's a little tired. Yes, but I'm not laughing. So, oh, anyway, we have... Who, who's it again? I don't even know this guy's name. I don't. Don't. I'm just, I was distracted he, but by yes. his name. So to be fair, he's it's cool, slightly, because he has, for some reason, a really elaborate oh, face. Arion. Yeah. There we go, that's his name, Arion, I think. We'll just call it Arion. It won't matter after Arion. that. I thought you said Mar Arion. Arion, not to be confused with the dragon master from Arion 4 and 5. He isn't that cool. No, because unfortunately it won't matter what his name is right after this battle. It really won't. The runes will continue on though because the battle failed. There we go. It didn't want to start working. We had so many problems. But 
My internet started being stupid. But anyway, middle of the fight, yada yada la. This guy's constantly healing health. It's kind of snail's pace, but you can see it. Yeah. Are we gonna lose here? But, but he'll go down. Don't worry. He's yeah, it guy, just takes. And we hit a few. Just a little bit of. Oh! I did only beat him with the Thino. Wow. But either way, we're not even going to see this guy ever again. Poor guy. That's right. When you think about what happens in the end of this, I would say just that. Your world has a slightly more pity without here. So. Yeah, you will. Um, I mean, and this is going to be Last well, Chronicle for a little bit because Chronicle 5 is quite a mess just to get through. I don't really remember Chronicle 5. What was. Is that snow? Is that one No, of the snow? no, no, that's a little later. Almost, almost spoilers there. We're still dealing with Dalkia, but it's still a mess. 